Hi everyone, it's V and thanks for joining me on my channel today. Today I'm sharing a layout that I've created for Pear Tree Cut Files using the Let's Bake Cut File. I'm also using the Made With Love collection by Doodlebug Design. I'm just starting out today by adhering my photo to a white background and distressing the edges. And then I'm going to layer that onto a pink layer and distress those edges as well. And the photo is of my favourite cookbook called Layered by Tessa Huff, who is also my favourite food blogger. I'm just adhering that now to the second layer. Distressing those edges. And then I'll start preparing the background paper. Now before filming today, I've just prepared some strips in advance. And as you'll see soon, I've also done some stitching in advance on those strips. There we go. And I'll just distress those edges now as well. So this paper collection was absolutely perfect for this photo. I love baking. My KitchenAid mixer is the same colour as the mixer in this collection, so it was just perfect. Okay, and I'll just start adhering those down. I'm using a combination today of double-sided tape and glue. I prefer the double-sided tape on these larger pieces, but on the smaller fiddly pieces, the glue is just a bit easier. Now I'm just going to come in with some of my art glitter glue. And that way I can just push that in just underneath the edge of the previous layer. I'm just distressing the edges as I go. Just ruffling them up, just to give a little bit more dimension on the page. So while you're watching me put all of these layers together, I will just mention that Pear Tree Cut Files has an amazing Facebook group. Um, you can head on over and join. You'll just need to answer a couple of questions. There's so much inspiration there. It's a really supportive group. Lots of fun. They have monthly crops online that you can join in and participate with. So it's just a, a wonderful group to be a part of. So I'd really recommend heading on over and having a look at that.
So I'm just finishing up with the layers there. And I'm going to come in with my cut file, which is the Let's Bake mixer. And I've cut the cut file using some silver mylar from Basil. And I've also used some acetate and vellum to turn the mixing bowl into a shaker pocket. And I've just used a collection of sequins that I have at home and I've mixed them and matched them just to make a collection that I liked. I'm going to adhere that up on some foam just to give a little bit of dimension on the page. And I'm then going to come in with the title just to make sure it's in the right position. Now I'm just going to put some foam dots just at the bottom of the title and then I'm going to glue the top part directly to the cut file. That way it will all be at the same level. Now the paper I've used to back the cut file with is a very similar colour to my KitchenAid mixer at home, so it's just perfect. I'm just going to come in and use my art glitter glue just to glue down those loose letters, just so that I don't get damaged. I decided to mount the photo up on foam as well, but I did make a bit of a mistake. I forgot to account for the glass bowl and I've just realised here, so I've just got to come in and just tear a little bit of that foam away just so that the bowl wasn't raised up too high when I put my photo down. I'm just going to go in now and adhere that photo down and then I can start on the embellishing. Now today I'm using a combination of products from Doodle Bugs. So we've got the Doodle Pops, the stickers, the odds and ends and the sprinkles. I'm just creating a few little clusters with some of my favourite pieces. And there are some like that vanilla bottle that I just had to cut down to size so it would fit where I wanted it to go. And I'm just adding a little bit of extra glue to some of the pieces just to make sure that they stay secure. Now I did really struggle with cl this cluster up here. I moved things around, swapped and changed things out quite a bit until I decided on the final cluster. Now I just felt that the white border around this piece of ephemera was just a little bit too thick so I'm just using my scissors here to trim around the edge and just take that thick border off.
I'll bring some flowers into the top of the photo. I'm just adding some small sprinkles around the page now. But the cluster at the top still bothering me. So I decided to bring a few more pieces of ephemera in just to try it out. In comes the yellow mixing bowl and I'm a lot happier with that one. That little pop of yellow at the top makes all the difference. And once again I'm just trimming around the edge just to take that thick white border off. Okay, so we're nearly finished for today. I'm just going to add a few more little bits and pieces for finishing touches and then I'll leave you with some still shots at the end. Thank you so much for joining me today. Head on over to Pear Tree Cut Files Facebook group and check out all of the inspiration there and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Thank you.